Dr. E.J.R. David, you are an assistant professor at the University of Ask Alaska Anchorage and uh, the editor of Internalized Oppression, the Psychology of Marginalized Groups. Can you share with us um, your own personal experience with internalized oppression or the experience of people that you've worked with? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so my, my interest really uh, on this topic uh, stems from my own personal experiences. Uh, growing up as a Filipino American immigrant here in the United States, um, you know, I experienced uh, discrimination. Uh, people made fun of the way I spoke, people made fun of my accent, uh, people made fun of the way I dressed, people made fun of my mannerisms, my values. And the message that I received was that for me to be accepted in this particular society um, was to uh, become as American as I as 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 possible, um, and in the process of doing that, to get rid of really my Filipino ness, to to shed myself of my of my heritage, um, and so then I started uh, feeling ashamed and embarrassed of my heritage, um, which is one manifestation of internalized oppression, um, and then in addition to that, I started um, discriminating against other people who I thought were not American enough. Um, people who came into this country after I did, because I thought, you know, they need to change. They need to, to, to give up their heritage um, and be American, whatever American means now. Um, so I started discriminating against them. Um, other manifestations of this that can be seen, not just, you know, with my own cultural group, but with other ethnic and racial minority groups too, is, is the use of skin whitening products like bleach, um, or other skin whitening creams and lotions um, so that their their darker skins will appear more white um, and so that they will become more accepted. Uh, many groups, especially groups with a history of colonialism, seem to have equated lighter skin with being more attractive. Um, so that's probably one of the more, um, I guess, uh, extreme examples of internalized oppression is the use of skin whitening products to lighten one's skin. 